The Life and Sad Ending of Donny Osmond Donny Osmond was born Donald Clark Osmond on December 9, 1957, in Ogden, Utah, the U.S. to Olive Osmond and George Osmond on. He was the seventh of eight brothers and has one sister. When Donny was young, his family went to see Lawrence Welk in California. They were unable to meet with him so they decided to take a vacation to Disneyland. This is where Donny's older brothers Wayne Osmond, Alan Osmond, Merrill Osmond, and Jay Osmond were discovered by Walt Disney. They performed at Disneyland and were soon asked to perform on The Andy Williams Show. They performed on the show for nine years, with Donnie joining the show at age six. After their run on the show was up, the brothers spent two years trying to make it big before Mike Kerb and Rick Hall found One Bad Apple. The song was originally chosen for the Jacksons, but was instead recorded by the Osmonds and made them famous. His life has a chance to meet and love Debbie Osmond, they are married and have five children. His first appearance was on TV's The Andy Williams Show in 1962 on December 10, 1963, one day after his sixth birthday. Became close friends with Michael Jackson in the early 1970s while they both were teen stars performing with their brothers. The two remained close until Jackson's death in 2009. For the next several years, Donny traveled all over the world with his brothers, performing for fans such songs as Puppy Love, Crazy Horses, Go Away Little Girl, Down by the Lazy River and Twelfth of Never. In 1974, Donnie's sister, Marie Osmond, started performing with the brothers and Donnie recorded duets with her. That led to their co-hosting The Mike Douglas Show. An executive at ABC saw the show and offered them their own TV variety show. The pair took it under one condition that the whole family is involved. Donnie and Marie was a huge success and lasted four years. During the run of the show, Donnie married Deborah Glenn in 1978 and started a family. In 1979, the show was cancelled and the family was faced with a huge debt that they repaid. The early 1980s were not easy for Donnie. He tried many different avenues, including starring in Little Johnny Jones on Broadway, but without much success. Donnie had a break in the late 1980s, though, when he teamed up with Peter Gabriel and recorded Soldier of Love, which went to two on the U.S. charts. In the 1990s, he toured as Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. This lasted until the late 1990s. After that, he teamed up with Marie again for Donnie and Marie, this time a TV talk show. This was highly successful as well but only lasted a few years. After the end of the show, Donnie once again returned to music. He has since released This Is The Moment a collection of Broadway tunes, and Somewhere In Time, a collection of love songs. Shortly afterward, Donnie was offered the opportunity to host the syndicated game show Pyramid, a revival of the popular The $10,000 Pyramid Game Show, and it ran from 2002 to 2004. Donnie has released a new single Breeze on by which reached 8 on the UK charts. He has an upcoming CD What I Meant to Say due out in November in the UK and January 2005 in the US. Ranked 14 in TV Guide's list of TV's 25 Greatest Teen Idols, the 23rd of January 2005 issue. Became the first-time grandfather on August 21, 2005 when his second son Jeremy Osmond and his wife Melissa Osmond had Dylan Osmond. He weighed 7 lb. 9 ounces. And was 19.5 inches long. He and his family welcomed a granddaughter, Emery, on February 24, 2008. This is the first girl born into his immediate family, as he is a father to five boys. His sons are Donald Clark Osmond Jr., Jeremy James Osmond, Brandon Michael Osmond, Christopher Glenn Osmond, and Joshua Davis Osmond. The Osmonds were awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for recording at 7080 Hollywood Boulevard. 
In November of 2009, he won the American reality TV show Dancing with the Stars with dancing partner Kim Johnson Herjavec. On July 11, 2011, he won an International Radio Award. That was also the same day, during his show with sister Marie Osmond, that he stepped on her foot and almost broke it. That is what happened before. What he regrets is that things have not been done, he often has a habit of marking out what he is going to do, and doing it methodically. Each of us has a concern for our own lives. Study hard and pursue our passions, success will pursue you.